Welcome back to Estonia, uh, late spring 1944. First Russian uh, attack has been repulsed by the German defenders. Uh, I've had some, uh, just, the Ger Russians basically tried to sneak in and take the town before anybody, you know, bringing up armor and bringing up better troops and everything else. So uh, that didn't work. <laughs> if you watched the last battle, uh, please do. And uh, now uh, both sides have been slightly reinforced and we're going back at it again. Uh, introducing mortars now, uh, anti-tank weapons, and then very large pieces of armor have joined the battlefield. I, yeah, I think there was King Tigers in 1944. I might, yeah. I, I'll have to double check that real quick. There you go, May 1944, King Tigers started showing up. So we're in business. Uh, that's This is early on in the King Tiger land though. <laughs> okay, so we'll go over forces real quick. Russians are over there. And uh, we'll uh, get into the battle as ASAP. That's the big thing we all want to do. Looking forward to it. We're gonna have a great weekend of uh, bolt action here. Second edition, Eastern Front, World War II. Back for more action is the uh, captain. He's a veteran. He's got. He's going to be a small team. He's got a uh, a guy with him. I don't know what an adjutant or something, but it's not. Just a uh, a gentleman hanging out with him who's got a submachine gun and a uh, Panzerfaust. Panzerfaust will get to shoot at stuff this game. Uh, next up is a veteran uh, first lieutenant. He's got a guy with a rifle with him. And then we get into the the heart and soul of this. Uh, I guess, what is it, a platoon? I guess it is, yeah, I forget, reinforced platoon. We've got our two experienced uh, grenadier squads. They're, they've got a mix of assault rifles, submachine guns, and Panzerfausts. Uh, these guys, of course, are veterans. They'll be hard to kill. They'll be coming outside of buildings this time, so uh, we'll see what happens. Um, next tier, just regular three grenadier uh, squads. A mix of uh, light machine, you know, light machine guns, some rifles, some I think two SMGs, and uh, everything else is rifles, of course. So, and they've got a, a smattering of Panzerfaust mixed in with them. Uh, going into support stuff. Sorry if I'm spinning back around all over the place. I'm just kind of excited to get into this. If you haven't seen this channel before, uh, <laughs> we've got a uh, medium machine gun. He's going to be veteran. Uh, we've got a sniper team, it's veteran. Uh, Panzer Shrek, two-man team. A medic by himself. And then a, a, m a medium mortar with a forward observer. Uh, that's regular. I think it's, uh, and then the final things, of course, are the veteran King Tiger unit. And I just added this in at the very end, a, uh, uh, what's it called, a Puma. It's a Puma. So, uh, I'll probably call it a Panther 50 times during the game, just so I'll flash back and forth because I always screw that up when I'm playing uh, Battletech. I think it's 14 order dice. Um, yeah. They have less points than the Ger than the Russians, but, uh, you know, it's going to be great. We're just... I felt like I, I didn't have the Puma on my original list. I just kind of said, heck, let's get it in there. I can have it in there and keep the regular platoon because they, uh, you know, you get to have the armored car and then a tank as well. So there we have it. There's the Germans. Uh, they've reinforced the town a little bit. They've added in some defenses, but I haven't moved any buildings. Just I uh, just used some gabions with uh, to mark some stuff. They've added in a little bit of defenses. Had a bit more time to get prepared for the uh, Russian onslaught. Okay, let's go over to the Russians. Russians starting off with their veteran captain. Uh, then other officers. They have a. a veteran uh, senior lieutenant and then over here to the left we have a, a regular junior lieutenant uh, both the lieutenants have two men uh, with them and the captain just has a one gentleman with him uh, and there he has a Panzerfaust so he's all that in a box of chips of course the heart and soul of the uh, Russian force of the assault engineers uh, lots of submachine guns lots of Panzerfausts uh, they've got light machine gun as well. They got a flamethrower. They're just gonna. They're just amazing. And uh, well, I hope they they were kind of really just screwed up there at the end on that final attack. They were gonna take the the uh, the stables and they just bricked it. I rolled like all ones and twos, and that was it was sad. 
<laughs> Hopefully they'll do better this time. But uh, I did a new unit for the uh, Russians. I make this a veteran guard unit. I kind of did a, uh, a little bit of kit bashing. Uh, when I bought something from Warlord Games, they sent me a sprue of, uh, I think it's the 8th Army from the, the British uh, Desert Rats. So I kind of took their arms and I kind of did some Lend-Lease weapons for these guys uh, and added them onto the usual Russian sprues just to differentiate between them because I've got like Lewis guns and stuff. <laughs> so a little bit of fun here. Uh, they've got a, uh, you know, NCO that's got like a, he's got a machine gun and he's got a Russian assault rifle on his back. He's, a, he's, a, he's got all kinds of weapons. They've got two light machine guns. They have two submachine guns and then basically uh, the rest are rifles. But uh, that should be a fun little unit. And they'll be uh, veterans as well. The, that'll Between those two units with the assault engineers and this guards unit, they're going to be the only veterans on the uh, infantry side of the house for the Russians. And we just get into the massive amount of light machine gun teams. They have, uh, they've got this light machine gun team. It's a regular team. They've got you know 12-man squads, uh, one LMG. Uh, a bunch of rifles and then the NCO uh, they got two of them uh, then over here on this side they've got a double LMG squad which is just it's just a little bit different um, still a lot of fun uh, bringing up the rear of the two because it is a uh, it's two platoons forming this unit or two yeah uh, this is uh, the free rifle squad here and a second free rifle squad here um, they've got a regular medic They've got two medium mortars that are regular. They've got an anti-tank team up front up here. Sorry about that. Uh, it's, I think I think I made these guys regular. Then a, a veteran sniper team, and uh, then they've got the two uh, veteran uh, medium machine gun teams, and uh, then they've got the two tanks. The T thirty four eighty five is veteran. And then I've just got this guy done. I'm super excited about it. The IS-2. Um, yeah, he's got the heavy pintle mounted machine gun up top. He's just a beast. Uh, it's going to be very fun to see him up against the King Tiger. And uh, see how much fun that turns out to be. All right, Russians will be attacking. Germans will be defending. Uh, they'll be trying to reach the bridge uh, on six turns with a possibility of a, turn, of a seventh turn. Here's a view from the town from the other end. Same town as last time if you caught the first game. So uh, just a small town on this, on the uh, eastern side of uh, one of the Narva tributaries. And uh, Germans just trying to decide whether or not they're going to hold this town or just give up and then detonate the bridge and let the Russians rebuild it as they fall back. Um, We'll say this is in the southeast, probably down near Outpost Sunshine or something like that. As uh, Russians continue to try to close in and surround these guys. Uh, okay, that's it. I'm going to get these guys staged up. We'll show you where they all are. Everyone's going to be on the map. No reinforcements this time. And then we will... Uh, yeah, we'll get to killing. So that'll be fun as heck. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a blast with all these heavy guns and stuff. All right, troops are deployed on the battlefield. Russians reestablished their, or sorry, Soviets have reestablished their ring around this town. Getting ready to launch their attack. Get a closer look at all the units here. Um, I thought I did a, uh, I pulled, I did, of course, did my armies on a easy army bolt action uh, builder. Uh, not 100% accurate, just because I, uh, there wasn't an option for the guard the guard uh, squad for the for the Soviets to be veteran. I'm going to count them as veteran. And I think I missed some of the Panzerfaust that are scattered around. They're going to add on to uh, both sides' uh, point total. But the uh, Germans, of course, don't have as much. Uh, but uh, I actually thought it was going to be more substantial than it is. But we'll see. Soviets are going to be uh, rocking 21 order dice, which is a lot, uh, and 2,396 points, probably more in the 2450 range. Uh, Germans have got 14 order dice, so down by 7, and uh, 2152, mostly 
I think most of those points are going to come from uh, that beast in the middle of town. <laughs> um, just pulling, a, uh, sorry, just scrolling across the battlefield. Soviet SMG squad is retaking their position from last time. To their right is the uh, double LMG team. Uh, senior lieutenant there. Next is the uh, inexperienced rifle squad for the first platoon with the mortar behind them. Spotter is tucked away back there as well. And she's uh, right there making sure she didn't get sniped in the first 10 seconds. First of the two anti-tank uh, rifles there. T-3485. We got, a, I think this is a standard LMG team down here. And then a Maxim medium machine gun in the trees there, kind of covering the road. Pan to the right, you really got the heart and soul of the uh, Soviet attack. You've got the guards squad plus the assault engineer squad, the captains with them, and the medic. Over on the, uh, this would be the north side, I believe, is the IS-2. And, uh, pause here while you're getting a better view. IS-2's behind this berm. Got the mortar team here, too. Anti-tank rifle team. Uh, next to them is, a, I believe, the, yeah, the medium machine gun team for this side. And a sniper. We've got a standard uh, LMG squad over here. And a second one over here with the... Uh, junior lieutenant and a spotter for the uh, second mortar team is mixed in with these gentlemen over here on the right flank of the Soviet advance. Germans with the threat of high explosives have ditched all of the uh, buildings. They're moved into hard cover in the barricades they constructed. Uh, got a, one of their uh, sorry one of their regular uh, grenadier squads there Got their first lieutenant here with the sniper next to him. Medic is in town. Medium machine gun back here next to the, the mortar, the medium mortar tucked away in the back back here. I'm with the stand up for the rest of the Germans are kind of tucked in. Pumas between two buildings. Got another uh, regular squad here. Germans uh, stashed a veteran squad in the in the trees here to kind of I mean sorry in between the buildings just to kind of be a react force. King Tiger in the center got also got the Panzer Shrek ready to go where he's needed. Uh, and then we got another regular squad. I believe that's a regular squad. And then up front here is a the other veteran squad. And then I think this is another re regular squad here. So they're more con they're more condensed than last battle. And uh, maybe that'll be a good thing. Uh, these positions probably won't do well against mortar fire as they rain in on that. So they might have to abandon some of those spots. I think taking out spotters is going to be a big objective. <laughs> Keep them hidden. And uh, yeah, and oh, sorry, the German captain is tucked in there with the medic as well. There we go. All right, we're ready for combat. And we'll get turn one started here in a minute. Just get all the dice back in the bag and uh, we'll see how long this town can hold out against this kind of firepower. All right, turn one. Well, we got 30, 35 order dice in the bag. That's ridiculous. Most of it's Soviet. Starting off with the Soviet. Got to start off with a medium machine gun. No, you don't. I just uh, was going to start off with a mortar, but none of the spotters have uh, got line of sight right now. They're all kind of hidden. Medium machine gun firing at long range at Germans in hard cover behind the barricade. All right, five shots. Looking for sixes to hit these Germans. At a minimum, doing their job. Puts one pin on that uh, veteran squad. Now looking for a five to kill somebody. Picks a guy off, looking for the heavy, I mean for the, uh, looking for the, you know, another six, see if he can pick who they kill. Germans let them waste one of their SNGs, not too bad. Nice shooting by the uh, Soviet machine gun. Oh yeah, here we go. More Soviet stuff. 
So we're just going to keep the uh, Maxim medium machine gun thing firing uh, the theme going. We're going to fire at those Germans over there in hardcover. Five shots. Not so lucky this time. Germans are able to hook and weave. More Soviet stuff. Soviet with the anti-tank rifle. Going to fire the 14.5 millimeter round at those Germans in cover. Oh yeah, baby. PTRD time. Get up. Oh, no joy. Just trying to blow someone's... <laughs> I mean, 14.5 millimeter, I'm sorry. That's going to take off your upper torso. More Soviets. Let's keep that PTRD theme going. Fire another 14.5 at those Soviets. Uh, sorry, those Germans in hardcover. Get up. Those boys get lucky as that round bangs off their uh, their gabby in front of them. Germans will never get to go. Soviets run one of their inexperienced rifle squads over the top of the hill. They go 12 inches. Close in on the town. Nope. Over on the north side, Soviets run one of their uh, inexperienced their other inexperienced rifle squad towards the edge of town. <laughs> Just kind of experiment with these guys. Testing those German defenses. Oh, it's all Soviet all day long. Over on the north side, Snoviet, uh, Snoviet. <laughs> Soviet sniper unloading on those Germans over in, uh, behind the barricade. See what he can do. Needing a three. Get some. Automatic exceptional damage. He's eyeballing the NCO and the light machine gun. Uh, let's, if he can roll a four, he gets it. He went ahead and killed the light machine gunner. Sorry about your luck, baby. Oh, the Germans finally get to go. German mortar operator, or the forward observer, sorry, calls downhill on that sniper team. Gonna try to take him out, around, inbound. Here we go, baby. Splash out. Mortar round, short of the target. Need a five or six if they hold still next turn. More Soviet stuff. Russian submachine gun team runs forward down here on the south side. It's got a breach to these trees and they're gonna be, uh, yeah, it's gonna be real fun after that. More Soviet stuff. While we were down here, this ran their uh, double light machine gun regular squad towards the edge of town. More Soviet stuff. Uh, senior uh, Soviet lieutenant runs forward. Also ordered the uh, uh, mortar team for the spotter down here on the south. The spotter for the mortar team to also move forward uh, with a snap two order. So that's basically the south side is uh, done for uh, this turn except for these crazy gentlemen. I forgot about those guys. And of course the uh, T-3485. Yes. Veteran German squad moved up outside the barn, kind of prying the doors open. They're eyeballing and going into this uh, paddock here, using a light cover, firing at the Soviets as they come through the woods. More German stuff. This regular German squad over on the north side of town, uh, they've got six rifles. They don't appreciate the uh, sniper taking out their LMG. They're going to fire six shots at, at him. Small teams, light cover and long range. Gonna need sixes. That's a one pin order. Forgot to put a pin on from losing their guy. When insane heroism, they pass it like a boss. They scored two hits on the sniper team. Uh, they're veterans. Well, that's a rinse and repeat, uh, repeat of last game. Soviet sniper, first man to leave the battlefield. Gets smoked down by the uh, German uh, infantry squad with rifles just packing away at them. Uh, they get two kills, two guys. Also shuts down the mortar barrage. That's done for that too. Um, and a victory point for the Germans. That's crazy, man. See you, Soviet snipes. All right. German uh, light machine gun squad runs forward into the woods. And the Soviets are continuing their uh, push on the south side of town. 
German time. German uh, squad in hard cover, covering the south side of town, goes on ambush. German MG42 on south side goes on ambush as well. Just wait for the Soviets to breach those trees and just light them up, baby. All right, more Soviet stuff. Soviet light machine gun uh, infantry squad runs over the hill. They're in view of the uh, <laughs> German defenses on the south side over here. Oh, sorry, north side over here. More Soviet stuff. Soviet junior lieutenant runs up behind those trees there in cover, and then he does a snap too, orders the Ford Observer for the uh, German medium mortar over here on the north side to move up behind those infantry. More Soviet stuff. Oh yeah, baby. IS-2 does an advance move. Could have run, but I think that might have caused, might have given some opportunities for the King Tiger back there. Just playing it safe. Don't want to get killed in his first battle. Paint's not even dry yet. I'm just kidding. He's doing good. IS-2, number 432. German. German squad behind the stone wall in the center of town go on ambush. Just kind of delaying. German die. German medic runs up along the wall here on the on north side. Just want to be in range if these guys start taking fire. Bring somebody back to life. He was the ultimate failure last game. The uh, Soviet medic was the bomb. Soviet time. Soviet captain snap to the assault engineers and the guards squad plus the medic moving forward into the center of town. Oh, now we're talking crazy style. Setting up for a good turn two. Setting up for a good rest of the game. I'm pumped. German time. German sniper switches over, sticks his gun through that little fence line there. Gonna try to support this squad if things get crazy over here. More German stuff. German uh, first lieutenant didn't like where he was, so he ran over here. Just trying to support these guys on the front line. Wanted to breathe in some exhaust from the Puma. Coming down to just a couple tanks and armored cars, I think. I've got stuck here in a dice world. All right, German stuff. German captain goes down behind the cookhouse, orders up the Panzer Shrek with a snap too. They start moving closer to the edge of town. They'll be looking for uh, the IS-2 or the T-3485, put a hole right through them. And the four dice here in the bag. Ooh, last, Soviet. Advance and fire on that barricade that the German squad that got hit by this medium machine gun in the beginning of the game was behind. He's gonna fire his main gun, HE round, and also his uh, medium machine gun on his uh, front bow gunner. All right, heavy anti-tank gun at 35 inches into hard cover and a medium machine gun at long range uh, into hard cover. These be fives and sixes. Oh man, everything misses. Those Russians definitely are gonna have some hearing problems. They're gonna have to file with the VA for some uh, audiology treatment. <laughs> Post-war, baby. See you in 1949 when your claim finally gets to the front of the queue. Oh, I'm not uh, I'm not joking about my own uh, filing for uh, benefits with the VA. It's gonna take a while, baby. I think everything else is uh, German. What do we got? We got the Puma. We've got, oh, this squad here. Uh, they're gonna try to go on ambush and pass a one pin order, but they get a big bonus from the captain being right there. Puma advances between those buildings, uh, firing a long range shot with his medium machine gun at the assault engineer. Six shots, hitting on, I have no idea. Hitting on five, killing on sixes because of the body armor. Awesome shooting, does uh, four hits. Get some pin on those guys. Let's see if we can roll that again. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Just a pin saved by the body armor. Outstanding. Your advances. He's got a crazy shot at the IS-2 here. Or does he? Let me double check that. He might not have a shot at all. Nope, I positioned the IS-2 great. He can't see him. I'm gonna get rid of that cotton ball. He just advanced up and uh, he's sitting there. 
Pink Tiger disappointed. Those Germans right there who would have been deafened by the explosion of that uh, huge 88 millimeter cannon. Super thrilled they can hear for at least a few more minutes. That's the end of turn one. Awesomeness. Uh, Germans commanding lead with one victory point. Just kidding. All right. See you in turn two. The start of turn two, the Germans are leaving. I think two or three units on ambush. They're all infantry units. A three, I think the machine gun and two squads. All right, let's see what the Russians can uh, get into this time. Here they come. Oh yeah, here we go. IS-2 crew, they go on ambush. Kind of didn't like where they were at. If they didn't do anything, didn't want to go backwards, but they had the uh, Germans could come out and attack them from multiple directions. So they're gonna let them come out and they're gonna blast them. Oh yeah, more Russian time. Maximum medium machine gun crew is gonna open up on that German barricade again. Needing sixes to hit. Germans are they're gonna let the odds try to go in their favor and not go down. They're on ambush right now. I'm 99% sure. I don't know if firing causes. I know movement causes it. Let me look at ambush again. Alright, five shots, needing sixes. See what that does. You have chosen unwisely. Two hits, they pick up a pin. Let's see if anybody's killed. Needing fives, they're veterans. They lose another submachine gunner. Oh yeah, baby, whittle them away. All right, more Russian stuff. Mortar Observer now has eyes on that barricade up there. Gonna order in a mortar attack from the medium mortar on the south side. Needing a six to land on target. Oh yeah, rounds down range. Mortar round slams down a little bit left of the target. Five or six to hit next turn. All right, we keep the party started. This Ford Observer can see that bat uh, barricade up there. He can see all kinds of stuff. He can see tanks. I didn't even see that. Oh, nice. Uh, he orders his medium mortar to fire on this barricade. Sorry about the panning right and left stuff. Incoming round. Check your fire, check your fire. We're gonna adjust that fire a little bit here. Five or six next turn. Oh yeah. T 3485 advances on towards the main road. He's on that barricade. He's gonna fire his main gun and his machine gun. Uh, these guys are gonna flip their, uh, what's it call it? <laughs> Ambush into a going down. They're not taking a freaking 85 millimeter high explosive round. It's kind of an automatic. Yeah, so that's, there's no uh, there's no dice roll to lose. They, I was trying to take advantage of the rules to uh, lose the pin, but that's an automatic. All right, they're gonna need sevens to hit those guys now. Uh, four mach uh, five machine gun shots and uh, uh, the cannon fire at them. They should have stayed upright. All that stuff would have missed. No belief in that cover. The machine gun kind of cut into their uh, confidence. Oh my gosh, the Germans get to go. Oh no, say it ain't so. King Tiger advances, does his little pivot, moves up, fires his main gun at the T-34-85. He's going to hose down this uh, machine gun too with uh, his, uh, what's it called, his bow gun. So six shots on these guys switching targets and soft cover, but first he's gonna fire the main gun at this gentleman. He's a four to hit these guys. Uh, this is long range, so that's, it's gonna be six to hit these guys. He misses the machine gun crew, but he nails the T-34-85. Uh, let's see what uh, this super heavy anti-tank gun to do against this armor. All right, a nine plus armor versus a seven plus super heavy anti-tank gun <laughs> this should be a blast oh they bricked it a little bit they do tie it though so this could be a chance to survive for the t 3485 all right there will be a minus three on this uh roll for damage on a superficial superficial hit by the king tiger which doesn't seem possible 
All right, they go up to two pins. They're stunned. They go, the order switches to down, but that's, they've already gone this turn, so that's fine. Uh, now we've got to see if the turret gets jammed. Well, that sucks, but at least it's a forward firing tank now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, she's jammed two t uh, and uh, with two pins, but uh, still combat effective. Pretty lucky to actually be alive. A little rusty on those tank rolls. That took a minute. I'm glad I hit pause. So you guys don't have to watch me struggle. Another Russian die. German light machine gun squad ignores the King Tiger. Runs forward towards the town. Just trying to get to the objective. They don't really care. Nice. All right, next die. More Russian stuff. A uh, Russian inexperienced rifle squad also runs forward, keeping pace with this light machine gun squad as they close in on the uh, town from the south. Here they come, my friends. Oh, yeah. Charge. All right, more Russian stuff. Russian senior lieutenant does a snap, too, orders this double LMG squad and the submachine gun squad to run forward into this wheat field, attacking the Germans from the... Uh, South triggers the ambushes from this veteran uh, grenadier squad and also this MG 42 down here. So lots of bullets coming inbound on the Soviets. Do the MG 42 firing at the submachine gun squad too. Uh, I think it's going to be long range, six shots, light cover with the wheat field. They score one hit on those gentlemen. Uh, putting a pin on them. Let's see if anybody's able to get taken out. No casualties. I did miss one shot because I rolled five dice for, instead of the, I uh, forgot the Hitler buzzsaw roll. So should have been one more. I'll add one more onto this next unit firing at the same unit. Six rifles, a light machine gun, and an assault rifle. Uh, about 13 inches, I think. Let me double check. Oh, it's only 11. Gosh. We're going to overestimate. What a surprise for a guy. Uh, so now the, light the submachine gun can reach too. So that's wonderful. And this, the assault rifle will be at long range. The regular rifles won't. There's be a whole bunch of dice here. Fours and fives to hit. Get eight hits. They uh, raise them up to uh, two pins. And uh, yeah, sorry about your luck. Four submachine gunners are killed. Uh, one chance to take out the light machine gun or the NCO. They smoke them down a bit, but they're still there. Nah, still over half strength as well. All right, another German die. Veteran German squad runs into the corral through those doors. Uh, they're in light cover, but they're piled together. If someone gets a uh, mortar round in there, they're going to be all dead. Yeah, they're packed in there like sardines. Oh, man, that's terrible. Let's see if I regret that one later. Well, got to get engaged. Can't hide the entire time. All right, more Germans. Panzer Shrek team advances next to the King Tiger and fires a rocket at the T-3485 at 22 inches. Oh no! Shape charge weapon needing a four to hit. Check, uh, I don't think they pay range. Yeah, they don't pay range. Oh, four to hit, holy cow. Panzer Shrek rocks the T-3485. These guys are going in for uh, some kind of psychological counseling if they survive this. They're going to go up to three pins at a minimum. He gets the penetrating hit. Let's see what kind of damage it does. Crew is stunned even more. Up to four pins now. T-34. They made this baby right. He's bouncing, he's, he's freaking bouncing off all this uh, rockets and artillery shells. Nice job. Or German stuff. German captain moves to the center of the world here to be uh, more helpful for all of his troops now that they're all fully engaged over here. What a mess. Oh, Soviet time. Russian captain, I gotta try to move his guys into this region here where uh, he can be a little bit safer from the, uh... <laughs> you know it, the Puma. Puma won't come out because the IS-2 will melt them down probably. We'll see though. The IS-2 can't be the first uh, aggressive dice out of the bag. He's got that slow turret thing. 
All right, uh, I gotta pass a one pin order, but it's actually like a plus two because of the cap. I need like a, don't roll 12. <laughs> We're too far away to advance and fire a Panzerfaust at the uh, Puma. All right, they advance up to the wall with the snap two order. The captain ordered the medic, the guards uh, squad, and the assault engineer squad to move up. Uh, Puma can still see these guys, but now it's shooting into hard cover. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more of a difficult shot. All right, German. German mortar goes for the uh, prayer shot, firing on the uh, Ford Observer. Can see that I think it's the anti the machine gun up there in the trees. Rain down hell on those guys. Seven fire mission. Enemy troops. Estimate. Mortar round. A little bit long. Needs five or six. More German stuff. Puma backed up about two feet just so it can't be seen by this anti-tank gun over here in the trees. Uh, don't look at that lucky shot, could have caught him on the front plate and maybe done some damage. Uh, it's gonna need sevens with uh, six shots to hit these assault engineers. Gets two maybes, let's see what happens. Oh, so close yet so far. Misses. That was a bit of a the film, uh, cinematography screw up as usual. I did pull that dice out, but I think I hit the wrong button or I stopped filming or something. But here you go, Soviet. Go ahead and fire this uh, PTRD at those Germans in hard cover needing a, a six. Get some. 14.5 millimeter round makes a huge hole in the wall. Somebody's going to be pissed. Next die. Oh yeah, we're gonna fire that medium machine gun right next to the uh, PTRD. Shots, needing sixes. Oh, another Labrickashaw. Trying to do suppressing fire on these guys, not having much luck. German stuff. German squad, buying time, goes on ambush. Waiting on these Soviets, they know they're coming. More German stuff. German medic is gonna go uh, he's gonna go down just sitting there waiting for them. He's kind of doing a uh, inventory in his med pack to make sure he's got all the stuff he needs to start band-aiding people up when they get blasted by mortar rounds. Getting the nitty-gritty here. What do we got? Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead. He's right in front of us. Let's do the uh, PTRD on this side. Firing into over the heads of these guys into this compound full of guys. He's elevated so he's able to shoot over him. Needs a five or a six to hit. Come on, man. Get your sights ready. He needs a scope. Oh, yeah. German first lieutenant runs up here in between these two units so he can offer support. Um, just kind of stalling, waiting for the Russian attack. Uh, There's going to be a lot of Russian dice, I think. Oh, yeah. Inexperienced Russian rifle squad runs forward to the wall. Uh, they do not trigger the ambush yet. Everybody's waiting for these LMG team over here to do something. All right, another die. Oh yeah, here they come. The uh, Soviet junior lieutenant does a snap too, orders this light machine gun squad to run forward. Right before they get to the wall, the squad will spring their ambush and uh, fire, but they're still gonna get some cover from the wall, so a plus one, and I gotta check the range and everything. Then moving forward did expose this guy. Now the so, uh, German sniper zeroes in on him too at 36 inches. So he'll be the next target to be shot at. These seven rifles at long range with soft cover. So that's needing fives. Forgot they lost their LMG. They've been to the range though. Four hits, gonna put a pin on those gentlemen. Uh, they are regulars, killing on fours. Holy crap, that's a squad full of snipers. Uh, four kills, two chances for exceptional damage. Definitely overperforming on that that round, uh, that volley. Uh, they do, this is not under half, so they're still doing fine. But wow. Left, I know the sniper's in here. Is only just one dice left? Yeah, that might be it, yep. Just a sniper, he's gonna fire at their Ford Observer on the north side. Crack a lacking, range is 36, hitting him. Looking for a three to put a hole through his helmet. Get some. He drills him, puts a pin on the unit. 
All right, they lose their they lose their ability to range in. Uh, they'll have one pin on that unit. They'll have to move up and get into those trees so they can do direct fire. Well, they can adjust fire for themselves. And uh, ooh, nice shot by the sniper. All right, and that ends turn two. As Soviets closing in. Germans are whittling them down, though. Still plenty of Soviets on the battlefield like usual. Nice stuff. Okay, Ford Observer dead that time. Couple of good, uh, these guys over here, amazing shots. Um, nice. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Start of turn three, we have uh, one German squad on ambush. We have two mortar rounds being zeroed in to, on targets. One over there and one over here on the north side. One's German, one's Russian. That's the squad on ambush. Everybody else is uh, itching, especially this T-34-85. He's <laughs> if the Russians should get the first the first dice mathematically, and he's going to try to pass a four-pin order and uh, do something. <laughs> try to try to live. All right. In the words of a former president over here, this is huge, huge. It's Russian time. Here we go. I'm not 100% sure what I want him to do yet, but he's going to try to pass a four-pin order. He is a veteran. It's an absolutely horrible fail on that morale test, that spinning dice forever. I think they were hosed second that six showed up, though. I probably could have just cut the video off then. I think I was letting it spin in case it went into foobar. I might have actually saved him if he got a food bar and just like charged off in a different direction. Another Russian die. All right, the submachine gun uh, squad is going to try to pass a two pin order. Um, actually, this is a senior captain, a senior lieutenant there. He's going to do a snap too. And both of these squads are going to try to charge in and uh, combo on this guy. But first of all, we got to pass a uh, regular minus two. But they get a bonus from the uh, lieutenant, so let's see what it is. So plus two for that senior lieutenant, so they need a nine to pass an order. <laughs> They're rolling up in here double execution style. Uh, we got the SMG squad with uh, missing some guys with one pin. Um, we got the double LMG regular squad unloading. They're not built for really assault, but whatever. They don't have a pin. And then we've got the officer with uh, three submachine guns himself. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. Let's see if this German squad can survive this. They are in hard cover, but uh, this is going to be a heck of a, vault of a barrage. All right, 18 shots. The SMGs are going to need fives and sixes, and the light machine gun is going to need sixes. They get six hits, putting a pin on this squad. Regular squad, killing on fours. Wow. Great saves by the Germans. Their defenses hold up. One chance for an exceptional kill. They lose a rifleman to the first barrage. Next up, we'll do the senior lieutenant. Let me measure the distance. They got three SMGs. Six shots, needing sixes. They're at seven inches. They're just spraying everywhere. No contact. It just hits on the fortifications. And this final full squad with two LMGs unloads into uh, that squad's defenses. Nine rifles, two LMGs, and an SMG. Everyone's a five except for the SMG is going to be a four. They get five hits, elevating them to two pins, looking for kills on fours. A little better that time. Three kills, two chances for exceptional damage. That squad is weakened a little bit. Um, yeah, but uh, not too terrible. They're not desperation morale yet. It's got a lot of targets in front of them. Oh, more Soviet stuff. They're hoping to get lucky. Mortar 
going to just fire, hitting on a five or a six, medium mortar going in on those same guys that just got hit. This could be horrific if he gets a five or a six. Able to get two guys into the template as the mortar round slams into their fortification. This is not good. Anything but on these guys, and they'll get additional uh, D3 pins. Oh gosh, two more guys are blown up. Uh, they're at five pins, and or five pins, excuse me. And now they've got to do a desperation morale. The captain is there, so it's going to be only a minus two. I think looking for a seven or more. Sorry, a seven or less. <laughs> They squeeze it out. Awesome. Phenomenal. Uh, here we go. Oh, more Russian stuff. It's going to be over before the turn even gets there. Russians are going to force the experienced uh, Grenadier squad to engage them and use their attack order on them as they charge into hand-to-hand. -hand. Uh, so the Germans are going to unload on them with closing fire because they're behind a... Plus they were like at eight inches away and they've got the closing uh, barrier stuff. The fence, sorry. Pulled a German order die out of the bag and they unload into the inexperienced rifle squad. Eight tough fighters with assault rifles or SMGs, uh, seven assault rifles, uh, an LMG, and a rifle. All right, here comes the closing fire hitting on twos. They were at six inches. No, they're, they're longer, sorry. Uh, hitting on threes. 11 hits, killing on threes. All right, they're green troops, so they've got to take that crazy morale test, see what happens. Then they, uh, what's left can attack into soft cover. So no effect, they stay inexperienced, and now they can uh, hand to hand. I definitely screwed up my hand-to-hand -hand last time I played with the with defending obstacles. It's all simultaneous, so let me get this dice ready. This is going to be horrible. Russians attacking with seven dice, needing fives. Uh, Germans are attacking with all the dice. Uh, they have seven tough fighters, so everything that's not red is going to be uh, German. Hit it, killing on threes. Germans pick up a second victory die. Uh, more importantly for the Russians, they forced the Germans to use their die on who they wanted to. So they wiped out an inexperienced uh, rifle squad instead of maybe mangling this squad. Because uh, these guys have to come out and do something. Because uh, <laughs> they are in deep trouble. But they can no longer get support from this unit because they have, uh, they have now gone. All right, next die. I'm not even sure that... German regular squads even going to make it with uh, oh, more Russian stuff. Russian LMG squad runs up to the defense. They're not assaulting. They're just, they put their guns right over the top of the fence so there's no defense for the German uh, veteran squad. And they're going to unload on them at point blank range. Uh, they did advance. So there'll be a minus one there, but they'll get it right back with the closer than six inches and no cover. Or they've got a ton of rifles, an LMG, and the NCO actually has a German assault rifle, so uh, he'll get a, he'll be hitting like on twos. Everyone else will be hitting on threes. Twelve hits on those German regulars, needing fives to hit, uh, fives to kill. See what these, uh, see what they can do. Two Germans die in that close range firefight. Not totally, uh, well, regulars are hard, I mean, veterans are hard to kill. We'll give them that. I thought for sure more guys would have died. All right, here we go. Wow. Germans aren't even in the game. Uh, German medium mortars can try to pass a one pin order and run and get their tube into visual sight with uh, the Germans. <laughs> Pass the order and they set up under that tree there so they're in light cover. Wow. Junior lieutenants can try to snap the LMG squad over the fence, start closing in, and try to do the same thing they're doing on the other side to these guys. Got to pass a, uh, well, it'll be an even regular check, so I'll need a nine or less. 
both uh, the squad and the team advance. These guys are going to fire their 12 inches from that hard coverage trying to put their heads down. Uh, <laughs> a few less guys will die if they can get lucky. All right, uh, they have one submachine gun at 12 inches. Everything else is rifles and LMGs that are going to pay a penalty for the assault thing. So, uh, four, needing six, everything's going to need sixes. They do score two hits, um, so at least they're up to one pin now. Let's see if they can kill anybody. Killing on fours. Just a pin for the Germans to deal with there. The medic was ready. He had his band-aid set. There, a German died in this bag. Yes, there it is. All right, this captain's going to do some serious snap to him. Uh, first up, he's going to order these guys to assault. <sighs> Who do you assault? I guess you got to go against the SMG team. Just hope you can... Well, they're all tough fighters, too. Ugh. All right, we'll go against the double LMG team. They're both, both are both suck, but we gotta hope that uh, the tough fighter rule doesn't help them out. Captain's gonna give his bonus. These guys have got five pins. So it's a minus two on a regular. If they need to roll seven or less. They go down. All right, less than six inches. The other unit's already gone, so the Germans will get to go pretty much first. Uh, they're down to four pins, but pins don't count in hand-to-hand. -hand. And uh, the mortar barrage goes away because these guys were the target and they're moving. Germans going with three tough fighters and an LMG. So, 12 dice, but three of them are going to be tough fighters. Killing on fours. See what happens. All right, they killed seven of these guys. Uh, a couple of those were sixes. I think we try to take out the LMGs, cut down the number of dice. Well, seven of those guys, like two riflemen, assault rifle, and an LMG attacking back. I also forgot one of the tough fighters hit, so they get to get one more chance to kill somebody else. Russians attacking back, needing fours. Looking to kill more than seven of these guys. Also forgot they could wipe the squad out and lo and still win, I think. I think if you lose more guys but you kill the other team, you still win. So they kill five dudes. And they still got a reroll. So but they only four of these dudes are left. So Germans are killed and lose the hand to hand. I'm 99% sure and I'm gonna go with it. Because that'd be weird to lose to a team that you killed. So the Russians win. Uh, Germans are destroyed. I checked. I double checked the rule to make sure it was right. Uh, remember, this is a snap two order, so there's still more to come. Uh, the captain's got more to do. Also, um, these guys are less than half. They're gonna do a desperation morale on with a, with a modifier of their captain. So they're right. They're gonna need like don't roll a twelve, basically. <laughs> 11 or a 12. They cut that close. They got a 10. All right, Captain's got some more orders to give. Let's see what else he can do. That's just order number one. He's going to order this squad, uh, try to beat off their one pin order and run and, uh, to that barricade and then fire. They cut that close. They're an elite unit too, but they make it. With That's horrible. They did a 12 is only they get the roll that wouldn't work. Next order was the captain was going to fire the Panzer Shrek at the T-3485. He ordered his own unit to the wall in advance. He's going to fire with their weapons, a pistol and an assault rifle. And these guys are going to fire at the SMG squad. These psychopaths are, are uh, veterans. They got five assault rifles, an SMG and an LMG. Uh, shooting about seven inches to these guys. Hitting on threes and fours. Good luck. 11 hits, hitting on, uh, killing on, what, fours? Raising the pins to two. You know, killing seven guys, one chance for exceptional damage. They 
kill the NCO. Leaves an LMG by himself. We're a minus three desperation morale. But we'll get a bonus from a senior lieutenant. He fails that, uh, giving the Germans another victory point. Oh, wow. So his pistol and his assistant fires his assault rifle at this squad at point blank range after advancing. Three shots, needing twos. Three hits, killing on fours. They kill one guy, giving them a pin. And now the final shot will be the uh, Panzer Shrek needing a three to hit the uh, T-34-85. Rocket. Boom. Front plate. Let's see what kind of... Uh, let's see what it does. What's it? I can't remember the pluses on this. Hang on. That'll be a superficial hit. Let's see what kind of damage this thing does. Armor holds up again. Crew has got so many uh, close head injuries, it's not even funny. Six shock now. Uh, stunned for the third time. Oh, it's brutal. Russian die. Ridiculous shot. Anti-tank gun gonna fire at the King Tiger at 36 inches. Get some. I'm pretty sure you have to at least be able to do damage to cause a pin. So they would hit but he's a plus two modifier. He'd need to roll a nine on 1d6 to actually get a penetration on this thing. So uh, it just deflects off the King Tigers and they don't even notice it. It just barely scratches the paint. Probably should have shot at the damn uh, Panzer Shrek, but oh well. We'll get him next time. There's more 14.5 millimeter rounds in the world. Puma backs up, fires his medium machine gun for six shots at these guys. Oh wow. 17 inches. Good luck. Puts two hits on those gentlemen in the field. Uh, yeah. And now we got a chance to kill two. I uh, need four on those two hits. Kills two of them. One chance for an exceptional. Two of those riflemen are smoked down by the Puma's medium machine gun. Germans trying to react to being attacked from every single direction. All right. German LMG does have a shot. Uh, medium machine gun, sorry, from here. At those, what's left of that SMG squad. It's going to light them up. Actually, that's not the SMG squad. That's the officer squad. There's three of them, so they're not a small team. Yeah, we'll kill them. Need fours to hit. Six shots. Two hits, killing on fives. Putting a pin on those off on that uh, veteran officer. They're still out there rocking it. All right, next die. Let's see what we got here. Russian. Russian medium machine gun goes down. He's got nothing to shoot at. Tanks blocking half his view, and the King Tiger's got the Panzer Shrek covered. Stalling. See what the King Tiger does, so these guys can react to it with their nine thousand Panzer Faust. German die. German lieutenant orders his three-man team forward. They're just gonna fire at these guys. He's got two rifles, uh, needing fives to hit. He says pistol won't even reach that far. These two riflemen are snipers. Both of them get sixes. Two hits. Chances four to kill. Right, they got two pins now lose a guy forcing a desperation morale they get the bonus from the junior lieutenant which just makes it a minus one they need to roll uh, eight or less oh yeah they love it they passed that test all right so we got next russian russian medium machine gun gonna fire at that officer in the open now uh, a little bit easier to hit uh, just a long range so hitting on uh, Four fives and sixes, five dice. Zero three rounds or some crap like that. British stuff. Shooting at, uh, got two hits. Puts a pin on them and uh, good luck. They're veterans, needing fives. Nothing but a pin. They 
were able to hold off that uh, from dying. I should have dropped the mortar round on these guys. I forgot I am sort of zeroed in. Oh, no time like the present. It's mortar time. I'm trying to drop a round on me a five or a six on that medium machine gun I just shot. This is Hound Dog 7, fire mission. Enemy... Nope, needing a four, five, or a six now. They miss. All right. Soviet. IS-2 advances. There's a bit of a chunk of the Puma sticking out here. Um, definitely going to give him some good cover. Like a hold down thing. And the IS-2 advance. But he's going to try to blast a hole through him and just destroy him with a Death Star. 122 millimeter shell inbound. Yes, yeah, so it's just a chunk of that there. I'm just gonna, he needs a 6 to hit. This is not an easy shot. On the move especially. <laughs> Definitely take a huge chunk out of that barn there. Boom! Probably the building behind him gets blown to pieces. That tank round goes straight over the right front of the uh, Puma. Totally forgot the uh, IS-2 was sitting there, hadn't gone yet. It's good to keep that recon move. German die. From sniper. I'm gonna try to put a hole right through this uh, Russian officer's chest. Just outside of minimum range. Needing a three to hit. Oh, he drills him. Killing on a four. Oh, dead. Uh, desperation morale for that guy. Oh, no lieutenant anymore. It'll be a minus one. Actually, a minus two because he's got a pin. He's a regular guy. He cracks like an egg. Sniper takes him out. Soviet's building up quite a dead pile. <laughs> they got the troops to spend though and that'll be the uh, fourth victory point for the Germans but yeah they gotta win by a whole lot of more victory points right. smokes them down nice Tiger was thinking about doing something sexy but not with these guys sitting there so he's gonna hide behind the church and just try to destroy the T-34-85 a three to hit from the Death Star <laughs> All right, let's check on penetration. Hopefully not a roll of one this time. That's massive damage. Two, uh, two rounds going, th you know. He used to survive two hits. Round goes right through that T-3485, destroying it. Oh, but it took some serious hits. That thing's a beast. It'll go down in history. <laughs> took a... King Tiger round and two Panzer Shrek uh, rockets before the next King Tiger round went right through it. Five victory points now for the uh, Germans. Down to the nitty gritty. All right, Soviets. Oh, getting ready for next turn. Soviet captain orders the medic, the guards, uh, veterans, and the veteran assault engineers over the wall up against the church. Oh, it's gonna get ugly. Come around that corner, it's gonna be just they're gonna be doing all kinds of crazy crap. The King Tiger's gotta find a new home or he's gonna get smoked. Just like that guy. Oh, too soon. Alright. Soviets burn up four dice with a snap two order. Alright, next up. I think the Soviets have one dice left for an anti-tank rifle and the rest is German. Oh, that'll do it. The tank rifle's gonna fire at that officer just like his uh machine gun did. Oh, they miss. I could really use that. Just blowing that officer's head off would have been sweet. This is German. Like, uh, got the medic and a squad over there. Oh, it's the one more Soviet. Okay, I'm gonna put him back in the bag. I look down. I don't know who's left from the Soviets. I'll figure it out. All right, let's do German next. Oh, that inexperienced rifle squad. German medic goes down. We got two dice left. We got that German squad there behind the barricade with no pins and this inexperienced rifle squad which is going to try to charge but they won't get as close as they want to let's see who's up oh yeah here comes inexperienced oh here they come get ready to use the bayonet next turn if they're still here and the last thing this german squad will unload and try to wipe out this squad that everyone's been shooting at seven rifles two smgs the range is 12 inches Seven hits, bumping them up to three pins, uh, killing on fours. 
Oh, five kills, five guys. Seven brides for seven brothers. See you later, homies. That's another victory point for the Germans. This squad, without their, even without an LMG, they've been kind of been marksmen. They're shooting pretty good. All right, so these guys are gone, and they're gone, gone. That cranks up the uh, Germans to six victory points now as they waste another squad. This uh, north side is in trouble for the Soviets now. Just down to an experienced rifle squad. IS-2 is on the loose trying to hunt down the uh, Puma. <laughs> Puma's going to be running for his life. Probably get to fifth gear and drive over that squad over there. Mortar should be able to range in if he gets to shoot early. T-30-485 is toast. It's a great turn. And uh, oh, this last German will come off probably ambush too because he needs to move around. Nothing to shoot out here. Well, maybe he might stay in ambush because right behind that church there's uh, two veteran Russian squads. And this northern attack got buzzsawed down too, but they did wipe out that one German squad. And we'll see you in turn four, which should be the turn of destiny as uh, this mass of Soviets, this squad piled up here. I mean, this is. The game's going to be won or lost right in this area. I don't think these guys are going to have much of an impact. But, uh, yep, we'll see. Soviets. It's make or break turn. Like usual, turn four is where it's at. All right, going into turn four. <laughs> oh, man. There are so many options for the first die. I don't even, I wouldn't even know where to start. Uh, I got a couple ideas, but holy cow. We got mortar rounds dropping in, dudes at point blank range, guys getting ready to run around corners. People need to get away from IS2s, hand to hand over here. These guys will hate each other. All these dudes at the church, it's just insane. All right, well, let's get into it. Only team on ambush or squad is that uh, regular German uh, uh, Grenadier squad there behind the barricade in the center of town. And uh, they're protecting that way in there. Okay, let's get at it. We'll see you then. Let's get the first die. Let's get a bit closer. The Russians are down to 15 die, dice, excuse me, and the Germans have 12 in the bag because they've got one out for an ambush. Oh, yes. Absolute nightmare. Russian captain does a snap too. Orders the assault engineers around the corner. After they advance, the flamethrower kicks off. Uh, the guy with the panzer file shoots a rocket at the, uh, at the King Tiger as well. Then the rest of the squad unloads submachine guns and light machine guns into the Panzerfaust crew. The captain came behind him. His adjutant has a... He's back over here, sorry. He also has a Panzerfaust, so he's going to shoot that at the King Tiger. And then the guards uh, squad went in and did a run move and got into the church. So, yeah, that's a blast. The medic also ran up if anyone needs any healing, but I think it's... Uh, I think the damage is going to be done on the German side. All right, we'll do the two Panzerfaust first on the flamethrower, just to really rock out the uh, pins on the Tiger, or King Tiger, excuse me. Uh, first, so they're going to need a four to hit on the uh, engineer squad, the salt engineer squad on theirs. So let's see if they can put a round through the front of this King Tiger. All right, the first Panzerfaust hits the King Tiger. Uh, Panzerfausts are plus six, and the King Tiger has an armor of 11. Does not penetrate. Uh, Tiger has taken one pin. Second Panzerfaust uh, from the officer crew, needing a four. That also hits the King Tiger. Going for penetration as a second pin is added on to that tank crew. That also does not penetrate. Flamethrower needing a four to hit. Now he can't penetrate. He's just going to pour on pins on this Tiger. 
King Tiger still there, not penetrated. Crew is freaking out, having six pins. All right, now the assault engineers fire all their submachine guns, the light machine guns, at the Panzer Shrek team. 18 shots hitting on. Uh, I got to figure it out. Some of these guys are over six inches. Mostly just fours to hit. Ouch. Actually, I'm going to give small teams and light cover. So that's going to jump it up. With small teams, jumps at the five, and light cover jumps at the six. Behind the tank, somewhat, and like as a flamethrower kicks off. <laughs> Explosions from Panzerfaust going crazy, bouncing off the tank. And then about a million bullets as these guys charge into this kind of street here to waste them. Uh, they get one pin, three hits. Uh, these guys are veterans, killing on fives. They are able to kill that team, which is they gain another victory point, take a dice out of the bag. That's all right. That's uh, Panzer Shrek did help take out the T30, T3485, but the way it's going, they might need him to take out the IS-2, the King Tiger, in trouble. Another Russian die. Squad's going execution style into these, uh, well, should I, hang on, should I just do hand to hand? Oh. I'm gonna do it, just because it's fun. They're already up against the objective, so they're not charging over one, so they'll get to it. They'll get to attack first. All right, they're charging. 16 dice with uh, the two of them are going to be tough fighter. They are killing on five, so that's their only disadvantage. But this could be the ultimate. They kill four guys. Chance for a, a critical damage. Take out who they want. It did leave the door open. The Germans have three tough fighters and an LMG. So they're going to be rolling uh, 12 dice. Those guys just lost the Eastern Front. <laughs> Not really. Uh, Germans kill eight. Plus they would have four re-rolls uh, just because they have their tough fighters hit. So there could be up to 12 of these guys get killed. But there's no point going through that. That is a wipe. Uh, that unit is crushed off the map. It's another victory point for the Germans. They didn't have any closing fire, so they didn't have to pull their dice out of the bag either. Just did hand to hand. Oh, not good. Another victory point. Yep. All right, next guy. Uh oh. German captain back there is going to do a snap too. These guys are going to uh, try to pass a one pin order, but they get like a plus three from the captain. So. As long as they don't roll double sixes, they're going to assault the rear of this uh, officer and his adjutant. I guess that's the danger of these close quarters battles. You can <laughs> do things come running out of every direction. Good luck. All right, those guys pull up right behind the, the captain and unload. They don't even see him coming, stabbing him. Twelve dice, hitting on, killing on fives, three tough fighters. It was a weak kill, but they kill him off. Uh, no response from the captain and his uh, backup man. Uh, I have another victory point for the Germans. The Germans are going to try to reconsolidate. <laughs> Next up for the captain, he ran over here. I'll give him a die. And then he also had these guys advance back behind their barricade where they just came from. And now they're going to fire with all their assault rifles and light machine guns at the assault engineers in the open. Six assault rifles and one LMG. At about eight inches. These dudes are pretty exposed for the most part sitting out there. Oh no. Uh, there will be the light machine gun of course can assault so it'll pay a penalty. It'll be hitting on uh, fours. I think the uh, uh, all the assault rifles will be hitting on threes. 20 shots. Hitting these guys isn't gonna be hard. Killing them. They're gonna need sixes to kill with the body armor. That's gonna be the fun part. Yeah, you really need HE to take these guys out. Uh, 14 hits, uh, needing sixes. Three kills, so they can roll another six. I don't know if you need a six to kill, so that's some other rules like that where they, you have uh, need a six to kill, but then it's you need to like roll two sixes in a row to get the uh, total hit, but we'll do that. If they can roll another six, they can have a whoever they want to kill with the uh, incredible damage. 
They do get the uh, the awesome damage. They take out the flamethrower and two other guys. Now the medic gets to save uh, if they can roll sixes. I'm gonna do like a uh, different color die for the flamethrower for a six. Oh, give that medic the order of Len and she brings the flamethrower guy back. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, that's what the, the Germans were all excited and celebrate and they see him stand back up again. They're like, no! All right, see who's next in this fun game. Oh, that's not good. Actually, I'm gonna do two things for the Germans. Uh, when they moved to that building, it triggered their ambush. So they're gonna fire at the building. And then I've got the order die for the next one. Squad has five rifles and an LMG firing into hard cover of the church. Hitting those guys on fives and sixes. Pretty terrible. I only saw one pin, just one hit. Killing on fives. Nothing but a pin on the guys in the church. Uh, next German dice. Zeroed in on the Russian machine gun on the uh, north side of town, or... Yes. Is that right? Hang on. Sorry, I got my compass directions messed up there. Uh, needing a four, five, or a six to hit. One, seven, niner, three, two, two. They're all bunched together, so all three of them get nailed by that mortar round. And, uh... Yeah, anything but. Nothing left but a crater and some body parts. Those guys are obliterated by that 80 millimeter round. Goes up to uh, another dice out of the bag. Nine victory points now for the uh, Germans as they just tearing into the uh, Soviets very badly. The German die. Uh, senior lieutenant for the Germans, or first lieutenant, is going to try to pass a one-pin order, do a snap two, have these guys pass a one-pin order. Uh, German officer is going to advance the side of that building just so he doesn't get shot anymore by the anti-tank gun and uh, whatever's left over there. The machine gun was his big worry, but still, it'd be safer just to cut the angle out. And then he's going to order these guys to uh, try to uh, eviscerate this squad here. Uh, plus, after he advances, he's going to have his two riflemen fire at these guys as well. These will end up being plus one uh, pinch uh, morale test because of the, uh, or order test, excuse me, because of the officer bonus. They both uh, pass their orders, all their pins will be removed, and uh, let's start the firefight. Oh no, inexperienced rifle squad. Not like in life. All right, we're gonna start off with the big boy squad. Seven rifles. These guys have been in fuego, hitting on threes. Five hits, killing on threes. Three kills, one chance for an exceptional kill. All right, green squad, taking their first damage. They gotta roll that check. Oh, they saw the elephant. They've got the uh, 15,000 foot stair now. They're ready for action. They're a regular infantry squad now. Let's see if I can remember that. The two officer assistants fire their rifle at this regular infantry squad now. One more hit. Killing on fours now instead of threes. They lose another rifleman. Go down to... Uh, Oh, sorry, they're up to two pins now. All right. Another Russian die. All right, the going's not going to get any better for these guys. They're going to try to pass a two-pin order and go hand-to-hand -hand with the officer. <laughs> Street's looking like a nightmare. These guys go in crazy psycho style, uh, attacking that with one pin now. They get to go first. There's no closing fire. It's... Oh, Eight rifles and a pistol. One tough fighter. Let's see what they can do. Oh, they kill two. The, the tough fighter gets one. The officer with his pistol guns somebody down. He gets to roll again, try to kill the last guy. 
That's a wipe. A German officer is killed along with his two assistants, and the Russians seize the ground. Uh, they're going to stay where they are. They like being there. Well, you know what? I'm going to roll a consolidation. They might go into that barn. They consolidate over there by the barn, getting away from that puma. All right, next die. Ooh, Russian time. Senior uh, Lieutenant is going to do a snap, too, with his squad and uh, well, his team and what's left of that squad. Move up to the barrier and fire at the Germans behind the barrier. Just look if any of these guys had a Panzerfaust. That would have been kind of convenient to launch a rocket at the King Tiger, but they don't have one. Thankfully, the team, uh, the squad, actually makes it. They have with the bonus of the officer, so they're, they're in business. Submachine guns are out of range, but the two LMGs, the assault rifle and the regular li a rifle, will fire. About eight inches. LMGs and the rifle need uh, sixes, and the uh, assault rifle will need a five or a six. Score two hits on them. Uh, that's a pin, and now we see if they kill anybody needing fives. Just one pin on that squad and cover. German die. Uh, sorry, Russian die. Russian anti-tank rifle team runs forward, trying to get a better position as the uh, German defensive line constricts around the uh, center of town. Russian forward observer for the south side mortar moves up to uh, trying to get a better view, keeping pace with the anti-tank rifle. Oh, another Russian die. I got three in a row, baby. That's a bad event. Just kidding. Wrong game. Russian uh, medium machine gun team runs across the street. Gonna get up in and get a firing solution on those Germans behind the bunker. Another Russian die. It's all Russian, baby. Anti-tank rifle, PTRD, gonna try to fire at those guys in cover. Oh yeah, take that, shazam. Back to needing sixes again. Get some. Woo, close call, misses. Another Russian die. Exciting for himself, Russian mortar, trying to drop around on those gentlemen. Starts working his way in, he's a five or six next time. German time. German sniper leaves that little area he was in and runs inside of this building at the top floor, starting up a firing solution. Nitty gritty time. Oh yeah. German medic sensing uh, it's gonna get crazy over here. Even though he's worthless, moves over to help out this unit. Oh, another one. German medium machine gun fires uh, hard cover against that officer and his two men. Needing fives, six shots. All you machine gunners will get this. They got their T and E zeroed in, baby. They freaking hit him with four hits on those uh, guys. Needing fives to kill. Blow two of them away, one of them's exceptional damage chance. Both of his assistants are killed. Senior Lieutenant will be by himself, take a uh, break test, desperation morale. Oh no, he loses his mind, takes his pistol out, blows his brains out. He can't live without his guys. I can't live if living with is out you. They're, he's dead. <laughs> can't believe I sang and I can't believe I rolled a double six. That is sorry in both departments. Sorry about that, guys. That's 10 victory points for the uh, Soviets, uh, for the Germans, sorry. I had a three dice and they're all tanks. So we've got the IS-2, the Puma, and the uh, King Tiger. Oh yeah, baby. King Tiger, gonna try to rally. Pass an order and get off some of these pins. Conus Tiger passes uh, the rally check. How many pins did he get back? If I roll a one, I'm going to be sad. <laughs> Stella got her groove back. The Pink King Tiger is pin free, looking for death. They just need to get the gray dice first next turn. 
so they can just put it in dry and crush those guys like a worm. Oh, the puma! All right, pumas have dual direction steering, so he can advance. He's on road too; he's a wheeled vehicle, so he can go 24 inches. So he's about to light it up. My microphone totally screwed up here for a minute, but Puma goes screaming down the road, gets right behind the King Tiger, he's rotating his uh, turret, and he's going to fire his MG42 at the assault engineers. Four hits, putting a second pin on the assault engineers, killing on sixes. Takes out a guy, looking for the exceptional damage to kill the flamethrower. Mows down a submachine gunner, but the medic might get the final word on whether he's dead or not. Oh, she got a pulse back for a second, but she ends up losing him. Oh, just too much damage. Final die is the IS-2. He goes flat out, crushes the wall, goes over it. Uh, he's running, or driving fast. And uh, he's into town now, so it could be brutal. He's setting up for a horrific turn five. That's the end of turn four. It was what, you know, the nightmare I thought it was gonna be. Turn five, turn five is gonna be even more brutal as the IS-2 rumbles into town, just looking to maim people. These guys are playing peekaboo over here. What is going on? All right, no one's on ambush, so it's all for real, dog. We'll see, we'll see you in turn five. big first die the uh, Russians are powering up their flamethrower <laughs> and the King Tiger is loading a high explosive round and cranking all their machine guns so yeah this could be brutal all right let's go for it yeah baby oh I'm too nervous you nervous I'm nervous all right here we go oh it's over Oh, the King Tar, he depresses his muzzle, fires his uh, massive a high explosive round into the ground. Also fires his bow machine gun. The officer gets up top on the MG42. He's going to spray and pray, too. It's going to be brutal. Twelve machine gun rounds and one huge, uh, super heavy anti-tank round. But actually, super heavy uh, high explosive round. <laughs> uh... Yeah, into these guys needing what twos that sucks hits with nine machine gun rounds and uh, and the high explosive thing with the three inch template they're packed into that city street it's gonna be ugly they can get six guys in the template I think it's gonna be just rolling ones probably just not the kill let's see I don't think it holds up against body armor so yeah anything but the uh, the body armor doesn't stop high explosive rounds, so you just get mangled. Five high explosive kills, two machine gun kills. Let's see who's left. There would be one guy left, so let's go for some exceptional damage and try to take out people that are important. The two sixes were both from machine guns, so let's see if the medic can save them too. Oh, she gets so close, but so far. All right. Now I'll roll for sixes again so we can take out who we want to take out. We'll kill the flamethrower. Just leave the uh, SM, the uh, NCO will be the only guy left standing. He's going to get some additional pins from all that crap. Going to have to six pins. Now we do a desperation morale. <laughs> These are all four or less. Too much for that NCO as his whole squad is just splattered all over him and the wall. He just can't take anymore. He runs. That might have been the fatality right there. The old Mortal Kombat just totally incinerates the assault engineers with a high explosive round and just a whole bunch of machine gun bullets. Oh yeah. The guard squad needs to pass a one pin order. They're going to charge. After they saw their assault engineer brothers get splattered, they're going down fighting. They charge this uh, German regular squad behind the barricade. They get rid of their pin. 
Germans are going to get closing fire. Pull their dice out of the bag. Five rifles, two SMGs, and a LMG shooting at uh, those guys as they close in. You get 10 hits on killing on fives. They kill their three riflemen. Now this is going to be simultaneous slaughter. Cannot wait. Russians have all kinds of tough fighters. Well, what they got? Three of them, I think? Three tough fighters. Two LMG, uh, two LMGs. They got a, what's it called? What, oh, what do they call this term? I think I call them Bren, uh, Lewis guns. Sorry, but they're Bren guns. They got two Brens, three SMGs, and a rifle. This actually might be close. Uh... Russians are tough fighters. Uh, they're going to be killing the Germans on fours. Germans be attacking back, trying to kill them on fives. <laughs> Soviets kill seven. Four of their tough fighters get to roll again. <laughs> Soviets kill eight. Um, the Russians, sorry, the Germans kill four. Five, one of their tough fighters hit, so he gets to roll again. German medic positioned himself perfectly. Gets eight chances to save some uh, Germans. German medic was saving all of his band-aids for the end. Oh, what a ball! Saves brings three of them back to life. Soviets get wiped to a man. They are gone. Germans win, and. That'll be it. Uh, Soviets are down to this regular, the artist formerly known as Inexperienced Squad. Uh, they've got some support weapons. They've got a busted up squad behind the barrier over there. They got an IS-2 in town. We actually could probably pull up and destroy the, the King Tiger and drive across the bridge, but I think there's some, Germans have got a lot of Panzerfaust still in town, so. Uh, I think they have three left in town. So that maybe be the difference, unless the, uh, I don't think the Puma could take out the IS-2. But uh, I think the IS-2 probably blow a hole through the King Tiger this turn, and then uh, it gets ugly after that. Then we get rocket launchers coming in from that squad there. They have two uh, Panzerfausts himself, so. Yeah, I would get a that would be immediate reprisal. So probably a lot of pins on the uh, King Tiger, but I mean on the IS-2. But I think it would have been just a, a typical Eastern Front slaughter fest. Um, and I, I think that, oh, they got more freaking uh, what's it called Panzerfaust over here too. The Germans have you know full squad here, full squad here, full veteran squad over there. Um, they got another squad inside of this building. They've also got rocket launch. They've got Panzerfaust as well. So uh, the IS-2 would have been probably pinned in the middle of town while the Germans just fired a Panzerfaust into them until it's all over. <laughs> oh gosh, great battle. Uh, probably smarter just to withdraw and save the IS-2 for another day. King Tiger, uh, victorious on the battlefield. On this one at least uh, got to go back and get some fuel and uh, yeah that's it great bolt action game gonna go ahead and just start painting like a madman uh, I'm gonna make a run for my first game of Hail Caesar be a learning game for me so uh, looking forward to it shouldn't be too much of a jump for me since I played uh, turn off lights now I've played so many games of black powder but uh, it's a little bit different, plus with the newer edition, uh, there'll be some changes there. But this was a blast. Bolt action always is. I've got this urge to paint my... Uh, i got some guys from Legion. I'm going to paint them and play some bolt action uh, Star Wars. Kind of makes... I'm sure there's some modified rules out there. But we'll do that. And watch it get darker as I turn off the LED lights. The sun is setting on the town. Sweet. 
All right, guys, you're awesome. I hope you're having. A, hope you have a great week. It's only Monday now. Tomorrow is a uh, D Day, I think. Is the sixth? No, no, it's not. A couple more days. Lost track of time there. It's only June third now, so we got three days till that. But this, I feel it's going to be a slew of World War II games in Normandy, and I apologize for having a Eastern Front game. But at least I scratched that World War II itch. Got a King Tiger on the battlefield. It's always a great time with a Puma. I definitely think uh, Russians could have used a few more points uh, just to, uh, since they were attacking an objective and it gave the Germans hard cover. So that's it. But uh, that's my only thoughts. I think it was a great game. It was a bloody game. Ton of dead Russians. Wow. Germans, uh, not so bad, but they... Uh, they definitely felt it. They'd be ready. They'd be, they'd be holding this bridge, though. It's pretty awesome. You guys are great, and take care.